Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Just want to do a quick overview of this um, Mazda 3. This is a 2009 model. Um, it's got a check engine light on and no drivability concerns from the customer. And it's got the fault code P2096, which basically post cap fuel, tr fuel trim system too lean. Um, bank one, it only has one bank on this four cylinder engine and basically i've already scanned it in other it, not in the um, manufacturer specific and this is the only fault code so i come back to the freeze frame and just to check the fuel trims and stuff like that so basically when you see this fault code it's generally most of the time going to need a software update and the reason for that is I'm just having a look at the fuel trims here. See, we can see our fuel trims are pretty good um, when this fault code was set. Uh, obviously, that's an upstream um, sensor reading, but still, um, it would uh, have an effect on the cat. And, you know, we're just plus 5% uh, fuel trim there, which is, you know, perfectly fine. Not actually any voltage here for um, the oxygen sensors, but, you know, that's okay. The what we the reason that this fault code sets is basically obviously we have our max and min line um, on our graph and the post cat fuel trim uh, the post cat oxygen sensor is you know maybe reading I don't know the actual numbers um, let's just call it 200 millivolts down the bottom and it's if it's below that line for a certain amount of time at a given RPM it'll log this fault code so since these cars came out they basically set that tolerance too tight and let's call it 300 millivolts is where it would trip this light and they found that you know these cars were coming back and back for logging this same fault code so they did a software update and what they did they opened up that threshold of where it would trip this light now to let's just call it again 200 millivolts maybe 150 millivolts not sure on the exact um the exact engineering and programming behind it but um, we can just imagine it was 300 and it was tripping the light they updated the software so it would be have a bigger threshold and now it's 200 millivolts and 100 millivolts and so it basically doesn't turn that light on that's basically if it's only running a P2096 um, fault code if it has anything any other fault codes obviously you want to attend to those first and make sure that that's not your underlying issue. Um, still, with this fault code, you do want to check that your um, oxygen sensors are working properly, check that your heaters are working properly, probably clean the mass airflow sensor, you know, potentially um, check out your injectors as far as um, your drivability, maybe check your fuel pressure, see if some of these models have a fuel filter and you want to change the fuel filter if it's um not been changed for a long time something that can cause a, you know a lean condition uh, obviously our fuel trims indicate to us that we don't have a lean condition at the moment um, when this fault code was set so we can pretty much guarantee that this is going to need a software update so this is on um mazda models not sure how wide it goes i've definitely just seen it on most of the time mazda threes um the two liter engine this one here is a 2009 model but i've seen it on the earlier ones as well um but yeah i just wanted to sort of do a quick overview for you guys um you know you can spend a lot of time chasing your tails when you're never really going to fix this car without a software update um you know thanks to azra and the right to repair we can now do those software updates if you have um programming capabilities in your workshop or you can just take it to mazda and then you know the cost is 100 150 bucks maybe the customer can take it there um but you know charge them for the diagnosis like i say cover all your bases and clean the mass airflow sensor make sure your fuel system's up up and running properly you don't have any vacuum leaks and um your heaters on your o2 sensors are, are working functional and that should, that should just about sort that one out so nice quick one um p2096 on your um your mazda makes and models and um yeah looking at a software update to repair this um this fault code 
take care guys hope you got something from this please consider liking and uh, subscribing to the channel and see you at the next one